Welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited for today's video. It's going to be my go-to colors for the fall slash my top five favorite matte lipsticks for the fall. Matte lipsticks? Well, these are pretty much all matte, but these are my MAC lipsticks for fall. I love MAC lipsticks. It's almost like a collection. In general, my favorite finishes for MAC are the matte formula, and I also really like the satin. So that's pretty much all I'm showing you today. And yeah, I think they have so many beautiful shades for the fall and just any time of year but it's just for the fall they just have my my favorites so um let me know if you want to see a video similar to this but including my drugstore picks so my top five drugstore favorite lip products for the fall let me know and i, I can definitely do that i'll start with the um only satin finish that i have so this one is braid oh also my bodysuit is from urban planet i really like it Love the color. I also bought it in black. So if you want to see, I featured this in my latest haul if you want to see. So I'll link it down below. So this is Brave. This is a satin. As you can see, I've used this one quite a lot. I will give you like a, a swatch here, but I'll also try it on my lips. So this is Brave. Um, this funny thing, um, my aunt actually gave me this lipstick years and years and years ago. It's not the same one, but it was like my first MAC lipstick. And I liked it. I was probably 13, 14. Um, and I liked it, but only because it was MAC. But I hated the color. I was like, this is way too brown. And now when I wear this, I'm like, holy, this is pink. <laughs> so it's just funny how things change. But I also really like this when I'm fair. It's a great lip color um, when I'm pale. So... MJ. So this is Brave. Now, to me, it looks really pink. Um, I think I actually prefer this when I'm pale, but this is a really pretty color. I think it kind, it's kind of similar to Candy K from Kylie, which is, I think, what she was going for because I think she used to wear this one. I don't really know, but it's a really pretty color. It's comfortable to wear. It has a shine to it because it's a satin. It's not a full matte, and it's comfortable. It lasts a very long time. Also, I don't wear lip liners usually with my lipsticks. I mean, sometimes I do, but... I always make sure to keep the shape of my lipstick so that way I can really like kind of line my lips. Um, so yeah, my lipsticks always have this shape because I like to keep it that way. So when my mom uses my lipsticks, I'm like, keep the shape. Yeah, this is a really pretty color. I really like it. It's quite wearable, perfect for daytime, perfect for nighttime as well. I used to think it was very brown, but it's, I mean, it's... It's definitely more pink. So depending on your skin tone, it's going to look different. If you're paler, it's going to look more brown. But if you are darker in skin tone, it's going to be... It's going to look more pink. So on me, it kind of looks like a brownie pink. So yeah, this is Bray. The next one that I have is Velvet Teddy. I feel like this is a very, very popular one. A lot of you probably have it. Um, fall of 2015, this is all I wore, pretty much. Fall... And last year as well, 2016. I don't know. I just really, really like this one. As you can see, I use quite a lot of it. And this is a matte finish. Again, I'll give you a swatch. This is another one that is kind of a, a little pinky. You know, not as pink as Brave. But it's it definitely has some pink to it. But it's also kind of a brownie nude. I don't know. This one is just one of my go-to. Because it's not too brown. So it works really well in the daytime with minimal like eye makeup or face makeup but it also looks great with um like a smoky eye or something well yeah smoky eye it, it looks great with heavier nighttime makeups so the application might not be like perfect but it's like two in the morning right now so yeah um, on a Saturday night, I felt like I wasn't being really productive today, so I was like, I need to film. Um, yeah, this is, I think, like, one of my favorites. If I could only keep one that I'm about to show you today, maybe it would be this one, because I can just wear it anytime. I just really like it. So, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. So, this is Velvet Titty, and the formula is super creamy, like, when you put it on. It's just the best. If you haven't tried the matte finishes for MAC, you need to. They're the best. So yeah, this is definitely in like my top, top favorites. Now we're moving on to, moving on to or into, moving into. 
I'm gonna show you darker brown colors now. So this one is Whirl, which is also a matte finish. This is very, very beautiful. I love it. I wore this one so much, it actually broke. Um, everybody, you know, used to be obsessed with Whirl, which I still love. Um, it's one, like when I wear a lip liner, it's pretty much the one I use. It's really pretty. Um, I used to wear this a lot when I would go out, like, not go out, but like, if I was doing a more like nighttime makeup, I don't know, I'll just apply it. So this is Whirl, which looks kind of intense. I feel like the lighting changed since I started filming. But this, like, was one of my favorites. I say was one of my favorites just because I feel like I haven't worn these colors in a little bit. But, like, recently I've been, like, falling in love with MAC lipsticks again. So, I will be wearing these again. But, yeah, I really like this one. It might look kind of intense, but I love it. I think it's such a pretty color. And this one, I feel like it has some mauve undertone in it. So, it's not, like, a true, true brown um, but it's really pretty. I love it. And I just feel like matte lipsticks make your lips look so much bigger, but they're not, these are not liquid lipsticks, so they're not uncomfortable to wear. It's just, they're the best. I like this one. Maybe I wouldn't wear this one with the shirt I'm wearing right now. Maybe I would go for a black shirt. I don't know. Yeah, I think I would definitely go for a black shirt. But I love this color. Definitely one of my favorites. But I look pale. Why do I look pale? I would definitely reach for this one at night more. The next one that I have is a brand new one. So I actually just got this last week and I wore it in a in my fashion haul that I filmed featuring this top. And I do have a picture on Instagram. So um, I thought this was part of the Nicki Minaj collection, but it's not. It's just when Nicki Minaj, well, I don't think so. When So she came out with two Viva Glam lipsticks with MAC and I guess they just came out with a bunch of nudes. I don't know. I could be wrong. So this one is age, sex, location, and it, this is again a matte, of course. There is definitely some other ones that I would like to try from that new launch, I guess. But I just still have to... If you have any recommendations, definitely let me know. I was also going to get Persistence, which is a really pretty brown, but I did not get it. So this one is really pretty. In my mind, it was darker than Whirl. But it's not. Um, so it looks like that. Don't really know how to describe it. I mean, these are all like so different, but also kind of similar. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. This is like brand new, you know, the brand new shape. So it's always nice. <laughs> Girl, no, we left off on the wrong foot. I've been busy. I actually really like this one with the top I'm wearing right now. Um, it's really nice. So, yeah, this one I guess is less pink than the other one. I don't know. I don't know. They're all so nice. So, yeah, this one I really like. Um, you'll see the next one that I have is quite similar to this, but they're all kind of different. I don't know. I really love this one. I feel like this I could wear in the daytime, but I could also wear at night. I could wear with a bit more makeup with less makeup and it goes well with this color as well so it goes well with lighter colors when i wore it with a like purpley like it was a dusty mauve top in my haul it almost made the lipstick look more purple so it's kind of funny but now that i'm wearing it with a like i don't know what color this is it's not a gray it's not a nude it's not a taupe it's not it's hard to tell but it almost looks more neutral i don't know it almost like goes with everything that I wear so far. So yeah, I really like this one. Definitely one of my favorites. It's a newer one, so I really like it. Then finally, the last one is again a newer release from MAC. And this one is called Easy Babe. And this one, of course, is a matte finish. So it looks like that, which is pretty much the exact same. Like it looks very similar to the last one. Um, but it's not. Yeah, actually the other one, this one is a bit more brown so here's the last I, I don't know it's kind of hard to tell but yeah this is easy babe this is age sex location whirl velvet titty and brave so let me try on this one my lips are dry at this point 
Um, and I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, and I'm school books. Seen you working hard, girl. I think you need a break. Last time you were with me, had so good I could not think. No, not Drake. I got plans, girl. This is more of a brown. I don't know. I really like this one. Do I think you need Easy Babe and H Sex Location? I don't think so. But I feel like H Sex Location might be a bit more wearable. But I mean, I don't know. I like both. Um, I actually wore this. When I bought these two lipsticks, I wore this throughout the day, I think. Actually, I don't remember. I confuse the two a lot. So, <laughs> I don't know. But this one, again, is nice with my shirt. Um, I think it would look nice with black. I like this one a lot. Definitely... One that I'll be wearing a lot. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. So those were my top five favorite MAC lipsticks for fall. Um, let me know if you have any to suggest. I mean, I guess you probably can tell now what type of shades I like. I think I heard a lot about Mare. I think is also a matte. Um, I would really like to get Persistence Stone. I don't think it's really for me. I don't know. I feel like it's like way more cool tone. So I don't know about Stone. Um, but let me know if there's any I should get. I especially love the matte formula, but I also really like the satin, but the matte is definitely my favorite. So if you have any to recommend, I would love your suggestions. Also, any from the new line from Nicki Minaj, not from Nicki Minaj, but new from the new collection, let me know. I haven't had the chance to swatch all of them, so let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to follow me on my social media platforms, all the links will be down below, especially Instagram. I do post more frequently on there, and then Twitter. Both are at Chloe Zadori if you want to follow me. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you very soon in a new one. Bye!